So for this video we're going to be talking about template literals in JavaScript, uh, also sometimes called template strings. Uh, these are really great and I think I haven't used them quite as much as I probably should be, but they basically allow the bare minimum things that you need for template languages right built into JavaScript. So they allow you to embed in expressions, which we'll see, uh, use multi-line strings, and do string interp interpolation. So let's take a look at what some of that means. Make a new file called template.js. Um, and so basically what they're going to look like is where they're going to look like something like um, console.log. And then instead of hello, like we normally do with these double quotes here, we're going to replace those with these back ticks. Console.log hello. Oops. So go ahead and save that, run a node on it, and we will see hello just like before. So that's not really where the big difference comes in. The big difference comes in where you can do some things like this. So if we have, let's actually just keep two going, make, make it a little easier. If we have the um, our normal string with regular quotes and we do something like this, um, it's going to break. So we can run node on template and we get this error, right? Where we've got like a line that starts with a string and it never finishes. Uh, and so it's not sure what to do there. Uh, and so what we can do is we can do something like at the end of the hello, we can give it a new line character. Uh, we can end the string, right? And then we can do a plus operator. And the plus operator doesn't so much care as long as the next thing starts again with a string. So you can kind of see that we have to do a lot of work just to get something basic like that to work like two different lines. So we can go ahead and save this and run node on it. Uh, we can see this hello is coming from the second one, but we've got hello and then world. So this is one use case where it would be very, very difficult in JavaScript to have control over your strings and their new lines and things like that. You end up doing a bunch of these like kind of ugly characters and things like that. So this is one really cool thing we can do. I'm going to go ahead and comment this out. I comment this one out too. So now that we have these template literals, we can go ahead and just as we wanted to do before, we can do world right here. You can even see my editor picking up on the colors. Um, go ahead and save and run node on templates. And we've got very much exactly what we typed, even the white space, um, hello world. So we can go ahead here if we wanted, um, oops, and delete to the W, then save it, run it again and then we perfectly got hello world. So that's one really cool feature. Um, we can go ahead and do as many different lines as we want and as long as you're within those ticks, those template literals, you kind of have full control over how the string looks. Uh, another thing that's really cool about them, let's go ahead and delete it, let's say we've got var foo and it's equal to bar, and then we've got var baz and it is also equal to bar. <laughs> I'm not, not very creative I know, but bear with me here. Um, so another common thing that you'll do inside like a console log is you'll type, you know, console log, uh, maybe the first thing is, right, and then maybe leave it a space, then the quote, then plus, then the variable name, uh, then another plus, then a quote, then a space, and the second thing is space and the quote, right? I hope we've all done this before. It's a little bit painful, but I suppose you do kind of get used to it after a while. Um, so we can go ahead and save this, let's see what I do wrong there, and run node on it, um, and we'll get what we want. The first thing is bar, and the second thing is bar. So again, with these template literals, they really help us out here, where we can do a much cleaner, in my opinion, we'll go ahead and we'll replace the quote with a backtick, and then we'll go ahead and get rid of the end quote, so we'll get rid of the plus sign, and instead, much like other languages like Ruby or Python or PHP, we'll just kind of give this interpolation symbol, right? Where we're saying like, this is about to be a variable. Don't treat it as a regular string. So it's a dollar sign surrounded by these curly braces. But then we can go ahead and get rid of this plus sign and this quote as well, uh, all the way to here, get rid of these ones. And then you guessed it, another dollar sign, curly brace, another curly brace. So now we've got this totally, oops, I forgot one closing tick here. So now we've got this totally, in my opinion, much more readable thing where there's a lot less boilerplate, there's no more spaces and pluses and quotes all over the place. We just simply have a string with these interpolated values inside of it. So we'll go ahead and quit this and run node on template.js. And again, the first thing is bar and the second thing is bar. So that's really, really great. Um, 
that's basically all there is to it. Um, there's really cool things in the sense that you can really just kind of forego a templating language like Mustache or React or whatever you want now um, and just do a lot of your templating right here in pure JavaScript, which I like a lot. That was kind of where I was saying I don't use it as much as I should, but you could, you know, pass down to your view all sorts of different variables and then wherever you need them, you could just, you know, even like write in your HTML you know, you could just have, uh, you know, whatever these things um, interpolated. So they're pretty cool. They're pretty basic. Uh, and as soon as you kind of get the rules, they really do work as expected.